so much feeling in here. <laughs> it just gets me every time. It's great. Yeah, it really does. <clears throat> Tell you, recorded in less yeah. than 10 minutes. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And so, wrote it in like two. Yeah. So, it's, so yeah. yeah. It's pretty impressive. It's pretty yeah. impressive. Yeah. All right, everybody. <laughs> welcome to episode number three. Woo. Three. Episode yeah. three. And Merry Christmas, everybody, is our Christmas episode. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Or Happy Holidays, depending on or happy what holidays. kind of like religion you, you guys practice. Whatever. Anyway. That's right. Uh, we're we're ready for Christmas. Janae is definitely ready for Christmas. Yay. She's got her Santa hat yeah. on. Cool. I had my yeah, Santa. I haven't done any shopping yet at all. What? Um, yeah, I was wondering no. where our gifts are. That nothing's appeared in the mail yet. So <laughs> yeah, I figured maybe somebody <laughs> well, stole it yeah, off the porch. And, yeah, that could be. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. You know. All right. You know, actually, yeah, I did order some stuff from Amazon recently, um, and. They what they're doing now is they're not putting it on the front porch anymore. No. But I called Amazon. I was like, it's it's been you know I had the next day shipping right on a couple of items. I needed like a cord for my cell phone and stuff like that. So I just bought a couple of cheap stuff on Amazon. Yeah. Uh-huh. And I didn't see it on the front porch. So I called them and I said, you know, where is it? It was it was next day shipping. It's been like three days. They said, have you checked on your back porch? Because I never got an email or anything. Oh, and so okay. I looked on the back porch and it was I have a little like love seat thing back there, a wicker love seat. <laughs> And it was behind that. Really? Wow. I was like, you got, wow. I, that would have been there for 10 years. I never go yeah. back there. I wonder you know? if you're... You jumping the fences, too. Yeah, I wonder if your neighborhood yeah. is just notorious for, like, the... Uh, uh, what do they call crime. them? The, the porch pirates? Porch pirate. <laughs> yeah, the porch pirates. Yeah, I must be in, like, a... In the ghetto or you're something. You're in the here. ghetto yeah. area or something. Yeah. <laughs> I guess. Actually, your neighborhood's really nice. I, well, <laughs> so, uh, I don't think people would steal in the ghetto the area. They would go to the nicer areas. That's probably true. Everybody, yeah, to, you yeah. know, I'm gonna go with that. That guess, sounds good. I guess that makes me feel better. You're trying to lead everybody into like a public service message here by guitars yeah. and gear. All right, no, everybody. I'm actually not. Make um, sure you check but, your but porches. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look everywhere behind bushes and everything. Yeah. There's stuff. If you have a high there. fence, they're just gonna. They could just it toss over. it over. The fence. Yep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if I throw it over the fence and it's broken, whatever Don't it is. Don't anything but. fragile. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah, no fragile stuff. Yeah, I got an, a delivery from Amazon, uh, what was that, two days ago? Yeah, it was Thursday night. Yeah. This is uh-huh. Saturday morning. Uh, so Thursday night, got a delivery from Amazon, and it was a, it was along the same lines of what I ordered, but it was a completely wrong thing. <laughs> so Ooh. I just went online and said, you know, wrong item delivered. They said, do you want us to ship you the right thing? I said, yes. They just said, take the old Take the thing that doesn't work back to Kohl's and they'll ship it out. So that's very cool. So, yeah, I forgot about yeah. that. Yeah, Kohl's does do that. I forgot they about do. that. Yeah, and you don't have to package yeah, it. Awesome. You don't have to print a label. You don't have to do anything. You just take it all to them and they take care exactly. of it. Exactly. Show them yeah. your email. Get us for your. Yeah. Yeah. It's awesome. your used uh, Amazon underwear on the counter there at Kohl's. <laughs> you know, they box it up playing around. Yeah. yeah, it didn't fit. It didn't fit. <laughs> and then you get a nifty <laughs> yeah. coupon too. It was a little tight. <laughs> yeah, a little tight. A little All right, tight. So, uh, let's see, what do we got to talk about? Uh, Patreon, everybody who's listening, if you want to contribute to the podcast, go out to patreon.com slash guitars and gear and uh, become a patron. We'd really extra, appreciate it. It's great. You get yeah, some, extra content. Though. Yes. Good stuff. You know, exactly. Last really week we put out, out an extra, well, we have one episode out there that's an extra hour of content. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, so get out there. And that was good stuff. Yeah, that was it was. <laughs> that was. Yeah. That was. Uh, that was a lot of fun. Yes, it was. Yeah, yeah we, that we, was cool. We talked. So it's definitely worth your two dollars. You know. I think sure. it was. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, but it's two dollars yeah, every time we do one of these podcasts once a week. You're gonna get extra content. Um, so yeah. as we get more more people out there, there's, um, you know, then we'll start putting yeah. out a lot more stuff. So. Yeah. Yeah, and talk and talk and speaking of the people out there, um, you know, we we found out. Well, actually, last week we found uh, out that we are now worldwide. Yep, we are. Mm-hmm. You know, man, we have fans all over the world. Well, two <laughs> countries. Besides. We are worldwide. So we're we all have, over the world. Yeah. We're worldwide now. We have uh, yeah. we have two downloads in Switzerland, and one <laughs> in the Netherlands. Yay. Which my idea was I think somebody screwed up and clicked on the wrong link. 
<laughs> they must have. They That's must the only have. Thing we can think of. Why else would they yeah. want to click on this? I know. I don't know. They're probably looking for like the Martha Stewart podcast and stumbled on ours and clicked on it. Yeah, you know, they. Something. Yeah, something you know, happened. An earthquake. They hit the wrong button on their phone. <laughs> <or> the wrong <laughs> link. All those Netherlands earthquakes. Yeah, yeah it happens a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like San Francisco there or something. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the famous Switzerland earthquakes, you know, happen all the time. Yeah, I'm yeah. sure there's no. Uh, the links and yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I'm, sure, I'm sure it's uh, not like yeah. that at all. I'm sure no. that people just were generally interested, and in, you know, the interest I, I will so continue too, to grow. Know, to be honest, yeah. yeah, it will. Yeah, we're. I expect us to be in Japan soon. Honestly, you know, that's a yeah. big. Uh, we'll they find. love this stuff over there. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure how so. Hopefully, that would soon. translate very well, but I don't know. Yeah, well, a lot of them speak English over there. Yeah. Yeah. You know, they they learn all that in school. All right. At least that's what I was told. But I'm probably way off. But yeah, there's probably yeah. nobody we'll over say. there. It's, you know? <laughs> yeah, probably nobody over there. I never heard of those. But, <laughs> yeah, don't care. But you know, but we'll see. You know, hopefully, yeah. we can get some yeah. some people on that side of the globe. You know? That's right. That's right. All right. So, um, yeah. so as far as Christmas. And Christmas shopping and yes. all that stuff. Um, we also have a yeah. birthday coming up in our family. Ew. This yes, week. we do. Um, Very so special our birthday. Son, our son is turning a little bit older. How old? Yeah. Yeah, he's going to be nine, as I <laughs> as I found out. <laughs> <laughs> That's new to you, right? And what is that story? Uh, do you want to tell it? Uh-uh. Mm-hmm. No? Okay. No. All right, so I, I ran into the grocery store because I have to buy stuff for Christmas dinner, things like that, and just normal stuff, right? The, I think I only went yeah. for milk. Ended up getting a whole bunch of stuff, and uh, so we're going to bake. <laughs> That's usually how it works out with us. Yeah, I know, right? So we're going to bake our yeah. son a cake for, for his birthday. His birthday is two days before Christmas. So in order so he doesn't get screwed yeah. out of anything for his birthday, you know, I, we do a whole birthday thing and all that stuff. So... We don't I'm combine anything, you know. He, yeah. yeah, we even wrap gifts differently, different wrapping paper, all that stuff. So, you know, so he has yeah. normal birthday and then Christmas. So, anyway, long story short, I, I go to, um, I digress, I should say. <laughs> so I went to the grocery store and I'm like looking around. And I said, "Oh, hey, I need a, um, I need a number for his cake. You know, something for his cake, like a cake topper or something like that." So I go looking through their stuff of cake toppers, and I'm like, eh, I didn't see anything I like." So I just grabbed the number candle thing, you know, that has the number on it. You know, grabbed one of those. Yeah. Brought it home. Not even thinking. Brought it home. So I get home. Janae comes home, and uh, going through all the stuff, I said, "Hey, I got I got this for Darren's cake," and she's like, "Oh, she's like, well." Let me ask you, so how old's our son going to be? I'm like, um, eight, right? She's like, <laughs> she's like try nine. <laughs> so, oh, no, you got eight on the I game. got eight, yeah. yeah so, got eight. so it's in the drawer. I got an eight. So we got two eights now. Yeah. So, But I do have a question mark well, candle, so we may just put that on there. Yeah, we have a question mark candle, so we can yeah. use that. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, but we do have an 88, so when mom and dad turn 88, we yeah. got that covered already. So. <laughs> yeah, we got it covered. We're ready. <laughs> we got two go. eights already. <laughs> yeah. Nice. So, You're yeah. So proud nice. of yourself. It was terrible. <laughs> so go. much going on, and I'm just going through the store, and it's a, it's a mad how. All right, so on a Friday at, like, it was noon, 12, yeah. 1230, something like that, it's all yeah. women and old people, and... They yeah. don't really give you the right away in a grocery store that no. time of day. So yeah. it was very chaotic, too, because there was lots of them. <laughs> Welcome <laughs> to not saying there's anything wrong with that, but it was just yeah. pretty, uh, yeah, you kind of get nudged out of the way a lot. <laughs> Coming through. A lot of motorized <laughs> carts going around the store. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I was a little frustrated. we got to do that one of these days, though. Just yeah. get in a yeah. cart and just, like, you know. Yeah, to start running into <laughs> young people. Yep. Oh yeah, I feel like way. bumper cars out there. Yeah, yeah. that'd be great. Right, so yeah. Should we uh, should we talk about anything with guitars and gear today? Probably. Uh, yeah. I don't should, know. Should we break you into do that, or you want to do like cars or something? I don't know. <laughs> I think people are. Yeah, are yeah, maybe we should pick the guitars and gear. I guess. All right, should we break yeah, into, should we break into some news? 
Yeah, let's do some news. Let's do some news. Let's do that. Yeah. All right. News time. All right. All right. And this is the news. All right. What do we got? And, and, and you know, uh, last week I was, and, and, you know, our listeners out there are probably still scratching their heads wondering who John Stossel was, right? Yeah. yeah. So I've, I've upgraded my persona from John Stossel. Yeah. Uh, to Wolf Blitzer. Wolf I'm like Blitzer. the Wolf Blitzer oh, of guitars and gear. <laughs> the Wolf Blitzer. Yeah. Oh. Breaking Wolf Blitzer. news. That's bra- breaking news. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, we got All right. we got a couple of things that I that I have found. Um, All right. Why don't you kick us off? Are going to be yeah, it's going to be pretty interesting stuff. Uh, the first thing is the you know last week we talked about the Motley Crue uh, reunion tour. Yep. with Death Leopard, Poison, and Joan Jett. Well, yeah. they've officially released some ticket prices for this, Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um, which is uh, pretty interesting. Probably so lot, depending on where you are, that's a lot. That's yeah. a lot. Yeah, so depending on where you are, uh, we'll start with the absolute cheapest tickets that you can get. And in San Diego at Petro at Petco Park, um, the notice leads to cost you $55 plus about $20 in fees. Wow. How You're much? looking at at least about 75 bucks for the okay. nosebleed. For nosebleed. Tickets. Oh, wow. Well, which isn't too bad. Yeah, yeah I guess, I guess not now. in this day and age. I mean, it's been a while yeah, since I guess. I've been Yeah, for a stadium concert. tour. Yeah. 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 And in New York, that number climbs to $89 before fees. So there's okay. fees added onto that. So yeah, really so you're probably looking at 100 bucks or something. Yeah. Oh, at least, yeah. yeah. And then Milwaukee, it's 140 plus fees. Arlington, wow. Texas, what? cheap seats are 175 before fees. Wow. Wrigley Park in Chicago. Yeah. Those bleed seats. Two hundred and twenty six dollars for the worst ticket in the house. What? Uh, wow. Free beer? No. Uh. Not. <laughs> yeah. so, so how about the best seats? All right. So if you want a good seat, okay, you can see Vince and house. all of his Because that's what we're after. And, you know, yeah. money's no object when we yeah. go and see no. an aging no object Vince at all. overweight Vince Neal. <laughs> 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 Trying to belt out red yeah. hot, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's uh, going to be interesting. Yeah. But, <laughs> so here's, here's the best seats. There's a lot of floor seating. Um, a lot of it's been snatched up already, believe it or not. Wow. But, well, they did go on here, sale here's what we're looking two at. weeks ago, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, this is all pre-sale stuff, so you can imagine as it gets closer, it's going to skyrocket and, of yeah. course, you know, scalping and everything else. But, yeah. but for the floor seats, they range anywhere from $350 to $550 for regular tickets. In wow. close. And then as much as $4,500 for the VIP platinum tickets, which they're calling, now get this, yeah. they're called Wild Side Ultimate Package Tickets. Oh, wow. well, what do you get with so that, Dave? Dave? <laughs> well, well, here's what you get. Here's what you get, John. <laughs> you get, <laughs> you get uh, somewhere in the first two rows. Somewhere. Okay. Mm-hmm. Somewhere in the first two rows. The Wild Side Okay, Ultimate Package also includes a meet and greet and photo with all four members of the crew. Ah. Okay. Right. An autographed Schecter guitar or bass. Oh. Yeah. That's not so bad. I can drown with an autographed Schecter bass. Yeah. You know, right. um, with those of you who were listening last week. And, and a <laughs> ton of merchandise, it says, whatever that means. Wow, so a ton of flashlights. merch. So this is forty five hundred dollars. Yeah, four thousand five hundred. That's forty five hundred bucks. Okay. Yeah, for the wild side ultimate package. That may not be yeah. a bad deal. I mean, you, you can get a guitar. You can always you get a guitar. You can always put that yeah. up. You can always on put that stuff on eBay. Yeah. 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 Because yeah. yeah, you at least get your money back. Got to sell good. Yeah, you might get your money back on. Yeah. Well, I don't know. You might if you get forty five hundred dollars back on a signed. Never know. Last, I guess it's, last concert. Yeah, that's true. Should be their last That's true. tour. But last are one they going to make you sign yeah. something saying you were not going to sell it? Oh, but you know what you that. could do, though? How would they know? Even if you do that, you can go on YouTube and blow it up. Oh, nice. You know, blow, yeah. up, the, blow up the contract like they did. Yeah. You know, and, oh, and you there you go. Yeah. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Because me, myself, and yeah. I decided we're yeah. not going to stick to that. That would even make you <laughs> even, right. even more <laughs> popular to more sell. More popular yeah. to sell, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got that be. guy yeah. that told him, screw you. <laughs> and he put the ashes in yeah. the bottle with yeah. the guitar. 
Yeah, wow. yeah. I would say if you get some, yeah. you know, a vial of each band member's sweat or something Gross. with that, you know. That's that would be cool, wouldn't it? <laughs> That's some sort of a, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'd You're rather have back. drum jets. Like a yeah. Yeah. Mixed sweat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, mixed. I love mix. Don't get me wrong, but, you know. Yeah, I, I don't mix want a genuine to mix sweat. Uh. <laughs> and a signed Schechter guitar. No. <laughs> yeah. It's a hard pass. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah, you get a choice of either a guitar at, or do you get a choice of a guitar or a bass? Do you get a guitar and a bass? No, it says guitar or bass. Guitar or so bass. Whatever they so have I guess you had to tell them ahead of the time and say, Hey, I want a guitar. Or or you just get whatever they have in the back. Yeah. You know? oh, okay. I was gonna say they're probably not gonna give yeah. choices if they have, you know. How many of those tickets, tickets do they yeah. have available at each venue or do they say? Oh, doesn't even say. Oh, okay. Say that's yeah. gonna be a lot oh, of know, guitars I'm, and basses I'm, to yeah. fulfill. Yeah. Well, yeah, maybe, they must have like maybe it's something they send to you. You know, maybe you oh. just tell maybe. them I want this. Yeah, you and probably they don't send get it, it there, and yeah. then they sit and sign them. Yeah, all right. Probably true. While they're drinking, or they yeah, just stamp probably. them. Pepto with their name. <laughs> yeah. <and> stamp them. <laughs> yeah. I stamped them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't ever really know who signed it. <laughs> they're already getting it. Probably some roadie dude or some guy in Mexico <laughs> that signed them. <laughs> I know. Yeah, no, you never know who it is. Yeah. But anyway, so that's uh, that's a little motley news. Nice. Here's a follow up from last week. Very nice. Yeah. Good. Good stuff. Yeah. yeah, so I have a couple of things. So do you want to take one? Oh wait, you were doing do the you kiss keep the kiss news. Yeah, there's a yeah, there's a kiss story. Okay. Um this is interesting too. Yeah. Um Yeah, Kiss says as you may or may not know, um, you know, the listeners out there, they're doing another farewell tour. Um Yeah. They've been doing farewell tours now for like twenty years, I think. Yeah. Um, so this so this would be it. Um it's something called the the end of the road. All right, and they were gonna. They were talking about doing this with Van Halen, which would have been really interesting. Yeah, you know that would have been awesome and uh, would have been a good show. Yeah, yeah. So well, David Lee Roth. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Just to be, you know, a fun show to see. You know, Kiss was great. We saw Kiss a couple of times over the years. Oh and, yeah, uh, they were awesome. Oh, a fantastic yeah, show. Really yeah, awesome, but on a great show. Great yeah. stuff. Yeah, they know how oh, to put yeah. on a show. That's for sure. Now they I don't do. know. These days, they're getting up there in age. I don't know how much <laughs> theatrics are going to be doing. I mean, Gene never really did a yeah, whole no. heck of a lot up there, but, you know, throw the tongue around yeah. and spit up blood and fire and stuff like that, which was cool. Um, <laughs> yeah, it was cool. So it was Paul Stanley while. running around, you know, running heap shit around the stage, yeah. you know, doing his thing. Yeah. But he was, yeah, this guy's yeah. awesome. So, sorry. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're, they're awesome. So, anyway. And they did, they did a cruise thing, uh, the yes, Kiss cruise. They did. Um, yeah. And I don't know if that's, if that's over or not, but this end of the road tour, I think is a new tour. I think they're done with the cruise. I think they're doing the end of the road thing. I think it's different. Oh, okay. Um, at least that's what I'm getting from the article. Anyway. Yeah. Cause they had Bruce Kulick's uh, band, uh, on that cruise as well, which is very cool. Oh, did that? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Bruce Kulick. Yeah. He was great. I thought he was their best guitar player over the years. I thought so too. Yeah. Yeah. Bruce was awesome. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, so this end of the road tour, um, they were talking about doing this with Van Halen. Uh, as everybody knows, you know, with the issues that Eddie's having right now is cancer came back and he's going undergoing treatments. Apparently he has been for the past five years and nobody knew. Oh, wow. And he's been flying to Europe for treatments and, and stuff like that. So, uh, so he's been, so he's, you know, he's, he's out he's basically for a while. Yeah. He's out. Yeah. So Van Halen, they were going to do a tour and stuff this year. Everything's been canceled you know, because of that. Right. So we don't know if they're going to be coming back at all or not. But so anyway, with David Lee Roth, okay. in typical Dave fashion, you know, he, uh, he decided he's going to go open for kiss for this end of the road tour. There you go, with Dave. His own right. band. Yeah, there you go. Take the yeah, band, take, take the bull by the horns. Grab a donut. Yep, there you go. <laughs> well, There's he should a, get he should know. get Steve Vai and uh, and um, yeah, Billy Sheehan. Billy Sheehan and, uh, and get those guys yeah, together. Greg that was this and that. Yeah, yeah, that was, yeah, that was his was the best classic lineup. Yeah, that was his best oh, yeah. band ever. Yeah, those oh, guys yeah. were fantastic yeah. together. Yeah, they were great, man. Eat them and smile and skyscraper and you yeah. Know. Yeah, great, they did great they, album. They did great yeah. stuff. So yeah, that that yeah. would be cool if he could get those guys to come out and play. Because yeah, who wouldn't want to awesome. do that on Kiss's final tour anyway? 
Yeah, okay. I mean, we should God, go it'd be an honor. David you know? Roth. We should go play with Absolutely. David Lee Roth. Yeah, we, there you go. Get, you know, I don't think Dave could keep up. No, <laughs> no, I don't think so. Either. He'd be blown away by this by the technical expertise. Yeah, you know, that me and John. I mean, just have. just and, uh, just listen to this. I mean, <laughs> how could you keep yeah. up with that, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, exactly. I keep starting it over. <laughs> oh, all right. So anyway, uh, so, yeah. so anyway, so that's uh, so that's going. what's going on there. So oh, cool. Dave is just thumbing thumbing Eddie in the eye again. You know, um, nice. you know, with stuff like this. So yeah, well, yeah. Oh, uh, but we have we have more. We do have more. <laughs> there's one more. There's one more thing. All right. Um, that I that I discovered that was pretty interesting. Little Metallica news. Metallica news. Okay. So, yes. Yeah, a little Metallica news. So last we heard, and, last uh, I heard. All right, let me say, last I yeah. heard, James Hetfield was undergoing treatment for alcohol, um, you know, and all that yeah. stuff. Yeah. Right. So that's true. That's the last yeah. I heard. I didn't hear any. I haven't heard anything since then. But I know they canceled their tour stuff, and and they were. Yeah. He was undergoing treatment for that. So that's all I heard. Yeah. Yeah. That that's all I've heard too. I mean, as far as. You know, the future of the band and stuff like that. That, that's, as far as I know, he's still undergoing treatment and stuff. Okay. Uh, so, you know, our best goes after James. You know, yep. incredible, incredible. Was that guy. your news? Amazing songwriter. No. Oh, okay. Oh, I <laughs> thought I just say, stole your thunder. One. Like, oh, <laughs> nice. No, no. Yeah, the Metallica <laughs> news. We have no news. Oh, okay. And uh, so, anyway, John, what do you have? Yeah, I do. Oh, just, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Way to go, Dave. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm out there on assignment, you know, and uh, yeah, so that's what I came up with. Nice. But here's here's the real news on Metallica. This is pretty interesting. Um, you know, the Black Album, right? Uh, that Metallica put out um, back in 1991, which is one of their best as far as the commercial crossover aspect of it. You know, it before they were really hardcore. Um, you know, with uh, you know Master of Puppets, and and before that, you know, Ride the Lightning, Kill 'Em All. They were really. Uh, more hardcore thrash stuff. And, and the black album really sort of crossed over, you know, you hear, started more hearing mellow. them on the radio and stuff like that. So it was, yeah, a little bit more mellow and stuff like that. So that was a big album for them. But anyway, here's the news on that. Yeah. They're, they're approaching 17 million album sales of that album alone in the United States. Wow. With over 31 million albums worldwide of that album. Wow. And here's what's amazing about it. I know. And these sales aren't mostly from days gone by either, it says. Uh, people just keep buying the album on a week-to-week basis. Nice. Um, so Metallica has sold so well, it has now become, you know, the, the Black Album, mm-hmm. it's now become uh, one of only four albums in, in music history of any genre mm-hmm. to be on the Billboard 220 for 550 non-consecutive weeks. Wow. wow. That's yeah. Okay, who's, so it who's, the, who's the other ones? Who's the other one? Michael yeah, Jackson, so Metallica probably, going. Right? Or no, did they tell you? Why. They tell you. Yeah. According, this is according to Forbes. Okay. Forbes magazine. Yeah. Um, you know, Metallica joins Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the of the Moon from mm-hmm. 1973. Mm-hmm. Bob, Mar- Bob Marley and the Whalers' uh, Legend Greatest Hits from '84, and Journey's Greatest Hits from '88. Oh wow! <laughs> In that upper echelon of sales. So, Journey which not only makes see. it the youngest yeah. album. Yeah. Yeah. Pink Floyd, I could see. But it's also, yeah. yeah, Pink Floyd. Yeah, Bob Marley, though. That kind of surprised me. Bob so. Marley's worldwide, but though. That's true. I mean, he's, yeah. Yeah, he's, yeah. He is. He, he is huge. Yeah, he yeah, is. I guess he's huge everywhere. Yeah. But it's also the second non greatest hits album uh, to do uh-huh. so, besides uh, oh, that's Pink true. Floyd. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. That's something. That From is Metallica, something. Yeah. Wow. So I wonder if they broke it down into demographic. Like, are these newer kids that are getting into Metallica? Yeah. Or is this all like people like us who just buy the album a hundred times? I can't find it. Yeah, there's probably a lot of that. You you buy it on on every different thing. Like, I I had had it on vinyl. And then I I got it on tape. And then I got it on disc, you know, on CD. And then I got it digitally, you know. Yeah, I downloaded it. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, I got it everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm probably so one of those people that. that probably had it everywhere. I think I have the disc. In yeah, my car right I know now. I do. Yeah, 
Yeah, I got at least four copies underneath my seat in my car. <laughs> so <laughs> you know, that you one. think are under the seat in your car. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Along with some sandwiches from uh, 1990 and, you know. Yeah. Right, right. But yeah, that got a lot of And that long there. lost uh, Nelson CD you can't oh find. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The Nelson. Uh, yeah. I just long for it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I miss it so much the Nelson days. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> love and affection, all those great so, hits. Yeah. Lo- a love and affection. Yeah. 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 God. <laughs> I think that's wow. what it was called. I don't know. I don't remember. That's a flash yeah. from a disturbing bastard. Yeah, yeah. no, I'm, s- I'm sorry I remembered that. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, oh, wow. I forgot all about that. Thanks. Yeah, uh, you're welcome. Now. You're welcome. Aww. Yeah. <laughs> so, so anyways, that's what, I, that's what I have. All right. That's, and that's the way it is. But anyway, what do you, well, I know you had something that, uh, yeah, I've got a few, few things to talk about. We'll throw in the news section here. So NAM 2020 is quickly approaching. Um, mm. I don't even know when NAM is it's January something. Um, oh, was it? Yeah. Dates. I thought it was in like April or May or April or January 16th, 2020. January 16th. Okay. Yeah. So it's we Thursday, January 16th. Remember? What's that? Weren't we going to go to that? Uh, were we going to NAM? Oh, no, CES. We were thinking about CES, I think it was. Yeah, no, yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, the CES show. Yeah, and then I thought we'd we go about. to the um, Sweetwater, Sweetwater uh, for the Gear Fest last yeah. year, this past year. What? But we should go next oh, year okay. to Sweetwater Gear we, Fest. We have to. Because we can drive there. Yeah, yeah. that would be great. Yeah. yeah, we could drive there. That would be a great show. Yeah, yeah we could we could really uh and, and they they do out. have get like some, last year steve Vai had some some kind of instruction stuff that he talked about and all that stuff and so they yeah. always have some great artists that show up and and you know do some demos and things like that so it should be pretty cool that'd be great for us we can yeah. really promote what we're doing maybe get some interviews out of it so that'd be yeah that really might be cool. kind of cool we'll be worldwide yeah. even more by then yeah oh yeah, yeah. with our japanese uh, listeners we'll yeah yeah with our Japanese listeners, yeah, oh yeah, we'll be we'll be the gigantic. elusive Japanese audience. Yeah. You know, we'll, yeah. we'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. Um, yeah. So yeah, anyway, Nam is going to be right, in, so. uh, at the Anaheim Convention Center in California, January sixteenth okay. through the twentieth of twenty twenty. So yeah, really quickly approaching. So a lot of companies are coming out now and kind of announcing things that they're going to show off at Nam. Um, so awesome. a few of them, I wanted to kind of. Kind of say, uh, um, Fox Gear has they they make you know effects pedals things like that. Um, yeah. So they are offering up a new take on ambient and modulation pedals with the Anubi series. I think I'm saying that right? A N U B I, Anubi series. Yeah. Um, so they're offering yeah. up delay, reverb, chorus, phaser, and much more with ability to combine effects. So that is coming oh, interesting. out of NAM. Nice. Um, and I'm getting this okay. from uh, Guitar World had a uh, had a little write up on you know going through some of the stuff that's going to be at NAM. Um, okay. Uh, okay. Faith Guitars is going to unveil its first ever. Well, it actually did unveil it. Um, they're going to be showing off their first ever baritone acoustic guitar. Um, has a spruce top oh, rosewood yeah. back and sides and Fishman electronics, so it's going to be kind of like an acoustic electric uh, baritone deal. So very cool. Cool. So look yeah. forward to seeing more about that. Um, this yeah. one here, and I probably need to click on this to see it really up close because. Uh, Relish Guitars is unveiling their first model in its debut line of affordable solid body guitars, the Trinity. So mm-hmm. what's really cool about this is it has a magnetic pickup swapping system. So for anybody out there who's ever okay. swapped out their pickups in their guitar, it's not really an easy process. You got a solder, you got you know cable management, yeah, okay. there's all sorts of stuff you got to worry about. Um, yeah. and it, it's just not easy. <clears throat> this guitar no, here is, uh, let me, let me see if I can, allows the user to simply pull the pickup out of the back of the body with two fingers and pop in another. Nice. So very, really? very cool. Quick Swapping switch. humbuckers, P90 single car coils with solderless ease. I'm surprised wow. nobody has thought of this. Well, they wanted to make it difficult for you. You know, as an engineer, why the heck didn't I figure this out? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, geez, this is like 
this is awesome. You could do this live, right? I mean, sure. you throw your guitar yeah. to your tech guy, he swaps out some pickups, throws it back to you, and boom, you're you're playing. So they got to be with, really strong yeah, magnets you know, with basically so that they don't strap. just fall out while you're up there on stage bouncing around. Yeah, I'm assuming the two fingers means there's some sort of locking system in there okay. that you push it in or something. Um, yeah, there has to be. Yeah, turning you a pop pin. You it out probably a fly up. Oh, yeah. you can turn a pin on the back of the mounting system, adjust the pickup height to balance output. Uh, ah, so oh, they first cool. unveiled this patented system in 2018 and has used it in all the company's models since. What? I haven't heard of this before, so I guess that's how... I've never heard of that company, it. to be honest. Yeah, the Trinity, yeah. however, is the first time the revolutionary magnetic system has been employed. All right, so I did see something before where there was a way that you could swap out pickups, but I thought you still had to pull the strings out and do all that stuff, and... You know, take the pick. Of, I thought that's the way it worked. It didn't seem yeah, like it seemed like a time yeah. saver as far as you don't have to solder anything. And, you know, EMG right. has those pickups where they just kind of plug in now, uh, you know, with their EMGs. Yeah. They have that quick. I forget how it is, but it's solderless, basically. But you still have to plug all the cables in. Um, yeah. You got to set up the wiring and stuff. And, you know, yeah. so you can plug it in and out. I guess. Yeah, so, the so, so how do you get the pickups out of that? To, you know, with the strings on the guitar, do they come out the back or something? Yeah, or they the, they pop out the back. There's a holes in the back, the back where the pickups okay. are, and you just stick your fingers okay. in the back there and pull the pickups out, put the new ones in, you adjust the height. So you don't ever have to mess oh, with your tuning. Crazy. You don't have to have to mess with your strings at all. Hmm. Um, yeah. yeah. That's, that's nuts. And that's really smart because, you know, um, you know, for, for a consumer, Mm-hmm. Um, because you just buy the one guitar, you're done for life. You get tired of the pickups, well, swap them out. And that's and something awesome. I'm trying to read mm-hmm. through. Um, so I don't know if you can use your own pickup. I don't think you'll be able to use your own pickups. Probably not. Like, no. Um, to that and other features. Like yeah, so like that's a that's solid, solid that, yeah, solid basswood body with two open slots in the back for pickup access, modern C-shaped Canadian maple neck. Uh, let's see, Laurel fingerboard with 24 medium jumbo stainless steel frets. Uh, also a pair of okay. Marlish Bucker XX humbuckers. But if you prefer other pickups, well, you know what to do. No, I don't know what to do. What What do I do? <laughs> <laughs> yes. yeah, what are my options? Uh, I'm reading <laughs> this. This is this is an article I'm reading off yeah. of uh, Guitar World. So. The Trinity is available in choice yeah. of red, blue, or black metallic finishes for sixteen hundred ninety nine dollars. So that's really not, not not, not bad. That's not outrageous at all, and that, that's no. actually a really, really good price point. You know, once you hit that over that two grand mark, I think we talked about this before. Once you hit over that two grand mark, now you're into boutique. You're into, you know, it's really yeah. tough. I that's think to, yeah. to to convince yourself that you need a guitar over two grand. Um, yeah. So I if know. you put I just in, wonder what it's going to sound like, though, you know? Well, that's going to sound thin because, you know, yeah. it's magnetic, and, you know, I'm just wondering what... Well, if you put in your order know. before January 19th of 2020, you get exclusive access to Early Bird P90 Bundle Special, which includes a Trinity by Relish Guitars plus one swap, swapping ready Relish P90 Duo. So that's very mm. cool. Kinda that neat. is cool, we yeah. Could, we should spend some more time on that in, in another episode as we get closer to NAMM. Um, yeah, exactly. That some more because that's that's pretty awesome. Uh, one other thing yeah, I want to more cover will come out. Yeah. So one more thing from Nam that I want to cover is uh, more audio has come up with. Let this past year in 2019, they've already had the GE 300 um, that came out, which I I I had. I've tried that, and I thought it was fantastic. It's a multi effects uh, pedal board basically. Mm-hmm. Um, that uh, has like, I forget how many amps, 50, 60, 70 amps in it, um, tons of effects, uh, yeah, all sorts of, it, it was very, it was very cool. I really liked the sound of it. It just, you couldn't do the routing the way I wanted to. So, I mean, uh, in that, in that yeah. respect, it, it wasn't fully, uh, you weren't allowed to do whatever you wanted. Okay. So it wasn't like, yeah, it wasn't a, fully customizable. Yeah, yeah. Like an axe effects or something where you can just, do whatever you want and you pay the yeah. price for screwing up your sound, you know, um, it allows yeah, you to exactly. do that. This, this was more restrictive, but it was very awesome though. Um, so they had yeah. the GE 300 that came out. They had the GE 150, um, which wasn't quite the GE 200 is a 150. Um, it was basically like a GE 300 light, you know, that they came out with for a lot cheaper price. Yeah. 
Um, for, so for NAM 2020, Moore is going to have a GE 250. So mm. now to me, they're starting to look kind of, <laughs> it's like, let's come out with a GE 265, you know. Uh, yeah. So they're coming out with a bunch <laughs> of stuff. So they're flooding the market. Um, I don't know how much this is going to confuse people when they go to the store and, or go out online shopping and they say, oh, do I need a GE 300? Do I need a GE 250? 150, a 200, a 250. Um, yeah. So it's going to make it a little a little more interesting to try to figure out. So that let me talk about it a little bit here. Uh, more audio has introduced nearly redesigned, redesigned GE250 multi-FX pedal, boasting 70 high-quality more amp models and 32 IR-based factory speaker cabs designed to emulate tube amps and feel, blah, blah, blah. Uh, new model boasts uh, expanded I.O. options and expression pedal foot switch similar to their GE300. Um, it does look very similar to the GE300. Additionally, they have a tone capture function, which allows you to camp, uh, capture real-life amplifiers to create a brand new amp models. So, Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so that's the way neat. it worked on the GE300 is you basically dialed in an amp that kind of sounded similar to the amp you were going to model. Um, and then okay. you, and then you went to model it. So basically it's doing some sort of EQing thing I'm thinking, right? So it's not really doing, yeah. it's not really doing like a profile, like your, like the Kemper does, um, where it profiles yeah. the actual amp and speakers and electronics and all that kind of stuff. However, Kemper yeah. does it. Um, this is doing it kind of like, I right, pick an amp that's similar out of our, and we'll, and we'll tweak it a little. And we'll tweak it. Yeah. yeah, we'll basically throw some some EQing in there to make it sound like you're... Um, yeah. Oh, that was the dog shaking. Anybody <laughs> who wants to know. Uh, oh, cool. So, yeah. So, um, third-party response file. All right. So, and the uh, uh, the impulse responses go to two, 2,048 sample points each. So, that's kind of cool. Otherwise, standard feature, uh, they have 60 new drum tracks, 10 metronome. So, it does have a drum... Um, track modeler thing in there not modeler but you, know, you can get drum tracks yeah. in there too um 10 yeah. metronome options a 70 second capacity looper built-in tuner auxiliary audio input so you want to plug your phone or whatever in there and and get some backing tracks um preloaded yeah. foot switch and yeah so it's going to sell for 499 dollars which uh, hmm. is a much better price point than what they were selling the GE 300, which was around I think seven or seven fifty uh, in the United States wow. for that. So uh, five hundred yeah. bucks is is definitely a better a better option, and seems like you're not missing yeah. a whole lot from the GE 300. So that'll be interesting to see more like about it. That's pretty similar. Yeah, yeah. so I'm, I'm interested to see what what more they have to talk about at NAM and and actually get to see one. Um, getting demoed by yeah. one of our awesome YouTuber brethren or something to go in there and exactly. run it through its paces. So, yeah. 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 So, uh, awesome. Yeah, we'll look forward to that. Yeah, so that's the NAM news. Um, and let's see, what else do we want to talk about? Oh, so a lot of things about best gear of 2019 have been coming out by a lot of people. So I wanted yeah. to talk very briefly. Um about the pick for the best amp and uh there are a lot of amps that are out there that came out this year and i think based on a lot of input now i've i haven't really played with well i haven't played with a whole lot of new amp stuff that's out there but um yeah i have played with a boss katana before i've owned one briefly okay. and um uh they're really good they're excellent they what they do, what they are, they're fantastic. Um, I think that's the one amp I haven't seen that you've had. The Boss Katana, is, is yeah, that, one. that was very. Yeah, I don't brief. think I ever got a chance to see that one. It was really, yeah, brief, it was yeah. very brief. Um, oh, oh, let me ask you this: are, are we still in the news segment? We are. Okay. Okay. Cool. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. So, <laughs> so, um, Boss did come out with the Boss Katana Mark II this year. Um, offers a couple more features than the Boss Katana did for not a whole lot more in price. I think it's like $50 more than the old Katana line, um, which you can still purchase. Cool. Um, and I think you can upgrade kind of to a lot of the features of the, uh, the Mark II. Uh, but the Mark II does have some other features that, that you can't get with the older versions. 
But uh, a lot yeah. of people out there, I think the consensus is pretty much that the best amp, especially for like home use and, and small stage, things like that, is, good, is the Katana Mark II. So good on Boss for coming out with another Nine. great amp for people um, to basically yeah. get. You know, it's a good solid state amp. It does all the, a lot of different tones, a lot of different styles of music you can get with that. So awesome. Yeah. And for the effects. Yeah, Boss always puts out quality stuff. Yeah, you know? they do. I mean, they everybody that's ever, that's ever played guitar over the years has had at least one Boss pedal. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. It's got to be a staple yeah, in always almost everybody's quality. stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So oh, yeah. um, for multi-effects, I think uh, in my pick, and I've seen a couple other people pick this as well, is the uh, the Kemper Profiler stage. I think yeah, this thing killer, is man. awesome. I saw that too. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the guitar it's... Got, uh, guitar got, uh, I think it was Guitar.com, I think, that had uh, a review they had their end of the year review and that was uh, the multi effects that, that won for right year of the year. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Amazing. So it's, it's great. And the reason it's really great is, I mean, you can get, you can still get the head, the Kemper head unit or the rack. Um, but then you still need the Kemper remote, which is their floor based pedal, you know, that attaches and all that. Um, yeah. You get the Kemper profiler stage though. And it's actually comes in cheaper than buying those two other units separately. And you get an all-in-one floor unit. Um, now that they've come out with the editor for the Kemper, there's no problem with you having it at home, having it on the floor, editing everything you need to on your computer so you don't have to reach down and twist knobs and do all that stuff. It's real easy to manage. Um, and it sound you're not sacrificing any of the sound you would get from the bigger model. So... Um, it's fantastic. It's, I, I have, they, no problems with it whatsoever. So, um, I think that's best, the best gear that has come out this year, in my opinion. Um, it's long overdue for Kemper users and, uh, and I think it'll take off pretty good. So anyway, that I think wraps up my news. Okay. Yeah. Do you have anything else, Dave, for news? Did we lose you? Hello? Uh -huh. Dave? Hello? Did we lose him? Oh. I think we lost him. Uh-uh. Go ahead Please and hold. give him a shout. See if we can get him back. So, our first technical difficulty. <laughs> we lost Dave. Or maybe he just got fed up with my choice for... Uh... <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> try again all right we're getting them back hello hey you guys there yeah. yeah what happened oh okay i don't know no it just, just dropped you just that dropped off weird. yeah yeah well yeah because i was like strange. uh do we have any more news dave are you good and he's like uh hello <laughs> <laughs> were you really that pissed off at my choices <laughs> <laughs> i just totally disagreed with what you said uh, <laughs> i'm out um, <laughs> so now it's guitars and gear with john and janae yeah, yeah. John, we gotta add janae on yeah the, what under the list no, you I, don't. I just thought about that no, you don't. our logo needs to change no, it does not because there's going to be mornings where I'm yeah. just... Because our logo says up. Guitars and Gear Podcast with John and Dave. That's okay. So we should have Guitars and Gear Podcast with John and Dave. And then have Janae, like, stamped over top. No. Good. There you go. Yeah. I'll work on that. You bring, you bring the class to this organization. I know. Yeah. yeah. All my little yups and uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yups and uh-huh. See, it <laughs> brings it all together. <laughs> it's the glue that ties it yeah. all together. I know. It is the glue, man. Without yeah. you, it's like we, we'd be floundering. You know, we'd be going for like seven hours and not even get the guitars and gear yet. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm taking this uh, out of it. news. New wait, segment. Wait. New segment. Yeah. So, are you okay. done? I okay. found something. Oh, wait. Janae found I, something. Oh, cool. I found okay. something. All right. According to this site, I won't say what it is. Um, the stadium tour with Motley Crue and all those people yeah. has added yeah. seven more dates. Oh, really? So the first one is not nice. going to be July 7th. They've oh. added on to the beginning, starting oh. June 21st in San Antonio, Texas. Really? So, yeah, really? They've added Texas, Missouri, uh, Minnesota, Tennessee, Ohio, and then it moves on to Florida. Interesting. So, wow. Yeah. Interesting. They usually add on at the end, not in the beginning. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's so, cool. Oh, that's yeah. 
Because Vince is losing more weight than he thought. It's awesome. <laughs> I guess. He will you know, one more thing goal. in news, though? Yeah. Yeah, one more thing in news. I heard that they did hire uh, nutritionists and personal trainers. I did the, hear that, too. Band. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Um, Nothing about a vocal coach? Mm, no. I haven't heard it. I, I think, no. yeah, I think John told me, I think, uh, one, one, one day this week, I think, he said that uh, Vince didn't feel he needed it or something. Right. And, oh. Okay. I'm like, oh boy. Okay. Yeah, he said he's good. Yeah, he thinks yeah. his everything's fine. So you know, <laughs> sprays a little chloroseptic. <laughs> I think he good. just wants to go out and jump around, carry yeah. on, <laughs> you know, do his thing. Yeah. So yeah, I don't should. know. Yeah. We shall see. June. We'll see. Oh really? Twenty first? Did you say? Uh, yep, June twenty first. Yeah. All right, June twenty first. Alamo Dome in San Antonio. All right, anybody in yeah. in San Antonio? On nice June 21st, hot. after the concert, come on in here and comment. Yeah. Yeah. Let us know yeah, how, exactly. Yeah. 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 We need a full report. Full Especially report. Especially somebody in that deluxe meet and greet section. Yeah. I want to know. <clears throat> you oh, know, I, yeah. yeah. <laughs> how exactly yeah, was that experience? That. You know, yeah. was it worth the four grand or $4,500? <laughs> yeah, the say, wild side uh, all in the package. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. The wild side. You know, wild somehow side. I think with all the uh, the the talk and news going on around this whole thing, I think there'll be no shortage of reviews and opinions after that first show. Oh yeah. So. Oh yeah. There'll be a lot of video out there on YouTube, and yeah, oh, yeah. it'll be it'll be interesting. It'll yeah. be interesting. All right, that yeah. wraps up the news. And that's the way it is. That's the way it is. It's the way it was. <laughs> It's the way it will be. Yeah. The way it will be going forward, too. All right. So. All right. Um, I don't think we have a whole lot to talk about for money, but here's our money segment anyway. Uh, <laughs> lots of deals going on everywhere. Go out and yeah. research it. I've been getting emails, filling my inbox with Guitar Center every day, Sweetwater every day. Me too. Um, every day. Reverb like actually has some 60% off or something like that sales going on, so. Yeah, yeah. Check yeah, them we'll, out. yeah. We'll see that all the way up until Christmas. So, yep. You know, so ask your family members for I money. I think actually Super one shop. of the sites, exactly. one of the sites was saying, I think it was Friday. Uh, what was Friday? The twentieth, I think, or maybe it was Thursday, the nineteenth, or something. If you ordered by like five, I think it was on Thursday, the nineteenth of December, that if you purchased by five p.m., you guaranteed to get it by Christmas. Otherwise, oh, that was from Beat yeah. Buddy, I think the Beat Buddy people maybe that was yesterday could have been yesterday anyway irregardless yeah. you may be too late at this point to get standard shipping with your order so you're gonna have to pay yeah. pay some buco bucks to get some two-day or next day or overnight shipping so uh yeah. so if you have not gotten your loved one or yourself that extra special <laughs> christmas gift <laughs> your loved one may be yours you're gonna be paying a little more for it now so <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Take advantage you of those still deals. Won't get it by Christmas. Yeah, and you probably still won't get it by Christmas. But you know, I would say yeah, if you're getting is. a guitar, you're kind of screwed at this point, unless you go into the store and buy one. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. yeah pretty much, you're you're off the rack now. Yeah. 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 Yep. Yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah. so that's all we have for our segment on sales and money um, stuff. So <laughs> yeah, sales and money. So. All right. There yeah, there's sales everywhere, guys, everywhere. So, so, so wherever you go. It's yeah. Crazy. So one last thing I want to talk about. We're going to start to try to start a new segment called FYI. So for your information kind of segment. And uh, okay. so today I want to talk about something that is very interesting. Difference between coil split and coil tapped pickups. So yes. a lot of people oh, can... Oh, I want to ask you something. Yeah. For, for the new segment, do we have any music for the new segment? Not right? yet, not yet. I knew you were going to ask Okay. That. No, because <laughs> yeah, I thought about really. doing it yesterday. I was <laughs> off all day yesterday, yeah. but I was busy wrapping presents and stuff yeah. like that, and I didn't even think about it um, until this yeah. morning. Well, you were shopping a lot, apparently. Yeah. You know? I did. I, I, I did. I was, yeah. I was, yeah, I got yeah. traumatized at the store. <laughs> Traffic was a bitch yesterday. Was I don't even understand yeah. what was going on yesterday. It was crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I had to go to Kohl's to drop <laughs> that stuff off, and of course there was lines of people, like you know, uh, doing the same thing, probably. Uh, right? Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. 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 So anyway, I digress. The music was yet to come for it. So. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. yeah, we don't have a jingle yet. We'll come up with something. Okay. 
Me and Dave will come up. Oh, yeah. We'll, we'll come up yeah. with something as a collective oh, yeah. little jingle. There you go. Because I'll be up um, there in January. And yeah. we'll definitely uh, write some incredible. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah. Then we'll get some. Yeah, maybe yeah, we'll redo we'll, our intro too and add a little add a little specialness to that too. So, a specialness. Yeah. Anyway, so coil. Although, so I don't know how you can add to that. Anyway. <laughs> so I came up with this yeah, with this, this segment. Yeah. It's when I bought mm-hmm. the Epiphone um, guitar just recently. Uh, the Les Paul Epiphone, um, and this is the Les Paul Standard Pro. And it has push yeah. pull on the volume. Beautiful guitar too. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah it's, it's, it is gorgeous here in front of the camera for anybody to see. Um, so I don't know if people can see this. Hang on, we're experimenting. You got the camera going, right? Yeah, yeah, we do. We're experimenting with okay. the video. Um, but these have push pull volume. You can hear it. Boom, boom. So our push pull volume on both of the pickup. You know, both the volume uh, controls. So. There's a little sticker around each of the volume uh, controls there that says they're coil tapped. And so me being inquisitive as I am, I asked the sales guy, are these coil tapped or are they coil split? Because they say coil tapped, but usually if a coil tap, they're they're not as uh, prevalent, let's say. They're more in higher end guitars, things like that, because they're not the cheapest thing in the world especially in like yeah. a store-bought kind of guitar, like an Epiphone that, you know, retails for 600 bucks. So I was kind of surprised. I was like, wow, that's kind of a great deal. And um, so he went back, talked to their tech, their luthier there, and uh, he came back and said, no, no, they're coil split. I'm like, uh, somebody needs to tell Epiphone people that they're <laughs> misleading False. the public here. And, yeah, they do that all the time, yeah. coil Tapping sounds a lot better than coil splitting, and nobody really knows the difference anyway, so they just go with it. So, in our quest, quest, that's a great word, huh? In our quest to educate the public, and obviously the manufacturers of some of these (laughs) things, we should probably probably cover this a little bit. So I did some research, because I'm not an expert on the electronics and guitar, um, but I wanted to research this so I could be a better informed consumer. And you know what the heck my guitar is actually doing. So, uh, right. so coil splitting, if you think of a, uh, a humbucking pickup, is basically two single coil pickups mashed together. Um, they right. reverse polarity between the two, which reduces the hum in the pickup, thus calling it a humbucking pickup. Otherwise, you get that 60 That's cycle right. hum going on in a single coil, like anybody who has and, a Fender and, Stratocaster would know, right? That's right. And also, if you're if you're uh, an Eddie Van Halen fan, he used to dip his pickups in paraffin wax exactly. to further reduce the vibration in the coils to reduce the hum. Exactly. Which which I, I think is a standard thing now. I think they all do that now. Uh, I'm not sure they all yeah, do, a but a lot of them yeah. probably do. Yeah. So yeah. Um, I think that was introduced. Like the the whole humbucking pickup thing was introduced by Gibson back in the day. Um, I, I may be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's right. Yeah, the um, PAF Pro, I think. Right. The, the big pickup back in the day. Yeah. Yep. So anyway, what a coil split does is each coil is wrapped with the copper wire. Um, so many mm-hmm. turns, a couple thousand turns or whatever. Um, and there's leads coming off of both of those single coil pickups that make up the humbucker, right? So both of those, okay. you usually they're usually wound together, and you plug into one volume, one tone control, and you're done. To okay. split those, you can take both those wires and put them onto a volume control, a volume pot that has a push-pull. That way you can split the pickups, and you can basically, you're turning one of those single coil poles off and enabling just a one single coil. Okay? okay? So that's a coil split. Makes sense. Okay. Um, yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. Right. Now, a coil tap is along the same lines as as that, but what they do is when they, and this could be a single coil or a humbucking pickup, um, normally, I think, I could be wrong on this, but I would think it'd be easier to do in a single coil pickup. But anyway, what what they do is they'll wind that pickup with the copper wire, and they'll tap that off at some point during the winding, winding process, Right. So you have one okay. lead coming off of that, like say you're halfway, say you're at 3,000 turns, you tap that off, do another 3,000 turns. Because I think like what you call like a hot pickup or, or a normal, like a, something like that would be around like 6,000 turns, say, on, on the copper wire. Yeah. 
Yeah. So you'd have that off about halfway through or, or wherever. And, uh, and so you basically have, you still have two leads coming off that goes onto the pot for the push pull volume pickup you have. And now when you engage that, you're basically boosting the pickup. You're giving it both of those. You get, you're getting that like 6,000 wound. So what that does is increase the volume of the pickup might give you a little more gain, might give you a little more, you know, grit in your pickup tone. Um, yeah. And then when you disengage that, now you're back down to a lower volume. You're back down to that 3,000 wound. So hopefully that makes sense. But that's basically what a coil tap is. And basically, okay, so, you know, yeah. Um, yeah, there's a lot more to it, I'm sure. But, you know, that is the gist of it. So, you know, so when you get home with your Epiphone um, Standard Pro and you go ahead and then, and engage that and you're like hey that didn't boost my volume that's not a coil tap no it's not it's a coil split <laughs> so there you go false advertising yeah, wow, so a little, false, little false advertising there so oh um, wow yeah so you can split both of your pickups on your on your epiphone les paul standard pro um and you're basically just splitting those you're basically in two single coil pickups when you do that yeah so there you go that's awesome all right yeah yeah. So hopefully, interesting. I didn't know that. That's that's interesting. Uh, I like how you uh, how you broke that down for us because I I didn't know that. I didn't know what the difference was. Honestly. Yeah. It sounded so, like the same thing to me too. Yeah. And really, I didn't really know the yeah. difference until I bought this because I, I knew a coiled tap pickup was like a big deal. It's like, oh wow, that's cool. Yeah. That's no, yeah. Good. I knew it was high end, but I didn't know what it was. I thought right. it was just a split. You know, that maybe had some extra features or something. But yeah. So there you yeah. go. So that's wow. interesting. Yeah. So okay. that's basically the difference. Now I'm not a tech as far as this stuff goes. So, you know, but um, yeah. but that's that's basically the gist of it. And if you ever want more information, cool. there's a lot of sites out there, and there's there's some great YouTube videos of people going over that as well uh, that that folks can go check out too. So um, don't take my oh, word for yeah. it. Go do your own research. But yeah. But that's basically how yeah. how it goes. So yeah, I was really right. surprised though. Um, it almost makes you wonder what else wow. they're not telling you when yeah. they sell you a guitar off the shelf. You know? Yeah, um, no. Especially but, uh, at a certain price point, you know, you got to be like, well, wait a second. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. kind of like in your in the standard Pro Epiphone guitar. You know, the nut on there is just a piece of plastic, basically. You know, um, you're not getting a bone yeah. nut. You're not getting, like, the on the Yngwie Malmsteen Stratocaster that I have, you're not getting the brass nut on it, you know, or... Yeah, or, he likes that brass. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, there's all that difference, too. Now, does that really give you a whole lot of difference in, in your guitar tone or sustain? A little bit. Yeah, I'm sure it does. A little bit. Yeah. Um, is it? I, I read somewhere, though, with, with Ingve, the reason yeah. he uses a brass nut is because the strings slide back. Plus, he oils the nut, too, all the time. Right. So, because he doesn't have a locking tremolo, he just uses the standard. No, it is not a locking tremolo. Yeah. Yeah. So, he, he needs his strings to slide so they don't get caught and get out of tune. Right. You know? And so, he oils the nut, and being brass anyway, the strings are just going to slide right over it. You know? Yeah, now, so, see, I do not oil my nut. That was interesting. <laughs> 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 Wait, that leads us yeah. to our next segment. Yeah. And that leads us to our next segment. Do you oil your nut? <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, so that wraps yeah. up the uh, whatever the jingle would be for the FYI segment, I guess. Right. Yeah, I and, like it. Uh, it's it's yeah. silent. And we're approaching we're approaching an hour here, so we're at fifty eight minutes. Are we? Okay. So, yeah. All right. so that cool. that basically took so, us to the end. Um Unless we all have an hour of entertainment again, an hour yeah, this week, yeah, unbridled <laughs> yeah, it's entertainment. It's <laughs> I know. And see, and, and for two dollars, you get like another hour of this. I know. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's like, you know, how could you not? Really? Yeah, that's like the price of you know half I mean? a cup of coffee at Starbucks. Uh, yeah, I know. Stay home, brew your own coffee. Yeah. And Listen. send in your two dollars, and you get you get two hours. Yeah. You, most people have a long commute, you know. Yeah. Two shows would get yeah. me to work great every day. Yeah. You know, and yeah, so. Yeah, or you know better there, yet. But... Yeah. Get your favorite chair in the house, turn the lights down, yeah. light a candle, <laughs> put your headphones That's on, true. put your guitar in your hand, right. and listen. That's right. And it'll just, uh, 
It'll be fantastic. It'll be the best experience right. of your life. <laughs> no matter what yeah. country you're Not in. Not guaranteed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no matter what country right. you're in. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, we're all over the world now, which is incredible. Well, we're, we're, we're not. Really. Us worldwide. Yeah. 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 But yeah, we, we, we will be soon. It's growing. We will be soon. Yeah, we're going to be yeah. huge. All yeah. right. This is how Howard Stern started, baby. You know that's I mean? right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Little grassroots so, all the way up to five hundred yeah. million dollars a year contract or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Not that we're not close to that now. I'm not close. saying that. But, yeah. I think we'd have to change our name know. from guitars and gear to something else. So Yeah. 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 Anyway. I don't know. All right. Today. So dogs are getting yeah. anxious for food. Yeah. Kitty cats okay. are meowing. Yeah. They want food. Yeah. So yeah. I think yeah. that's so my tummy. Means it's time to wrap it up. Yep. I think it is. Another great week. Another great week. Everybody, everybody, Another please have week. a very safe and happy and Merry Christmas. Spend it with one you love. If you don't have one you love, then um, find, love one. find <laughs> one. Yeah. That's right. Or love yourself. Go to the bar. You'll find you one. Know? Yeah. <laughs> Go to the bar. Exactly. You'll find plenty of them. That's right. <laughs> so, but anyway, That's everybody right. have a Someone Merry Christmas. Someone will love you. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Have a very Merry Christmas. Uh, we will be yeah. back before the Perfect. new year. Yeah. Um, so you can look forward to that. We'll talk about, um, I don't yeah, know, Christmas. more random stuff yeah. about our Christmases and yeah. uh, maybe kind some guitar right. stuff. Yeah. Great finds. Maybe yeah. a little guitars and gear stuff thrown in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe. You know, we're only called guitars and gear, but that doesn't necessarily mean much. That's right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So we'll try to get some guitar stuff in there, too. Exactly. You know, but, but we'll All talk right. a lot about Christmas and how it went. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, everybody. Well, yeah. thank you very much for listening, and we will talk to you next time. So that is yeah. Thank you so much for listening, and we're out. Guitars and gear Bye-bye. out. Bye bye. Out. Killer. I love it. <laughs>